welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Beleriion. It is time to continue the DLC exploration. My name is Saiken and right at the beginning of this episode we're getting ambushed by a couple of pirates and we're no soy, boy, uh, soy boys. We're most certainly not just going to run away and tuck our tails. We're going to show these freebooters who's uh, the new kid in town. I can tell you they won't like it. So far, I've uh, seen a couple of cool models, and I've also seen that uh, the mechanics of uh, the ship, or naval battle, uh, were actually quite fun. I haven't seen much of the new classes altogether, so um, I think there's only one new class, but a couple of uh, different ways of skilling it. So. A lot of these Corsairs, Freebooters, okay. I think that's all that new uh, that new class. Uh, and what do we have here? It's four damage, can be thrown again. Okay, I wonder. Up, move to here. Uh, clump up and Fluffy just runs in and completely obliterates them. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, Jim is engaged and we're giving them a hard time. Let's give him weakening so that Jim takes less damage. Oh, that disarm. I like it. That means Jim has... Oh no, Jim still has guard up. Good. <laughs> okay, you can shoot them through uh, the sea or chain. I haven't fully figured out how to not take damage when stepping on them, but that's pretty damn good. Jim is now surrounded. Oh wow, he takes a lot of damage be expected but seafarer also takes a lot of damage nice good hit Can we hit all three? Yes, we can. Thank you. They definitely team up on Jim. Not cool. Poison. Burning. Oh, 
That's the first kill. That's some more damage. <laughs> so many nice abilities at the same time. Okay, essentially you pay with a little bit of help um, in order to throw it again and again. Cool. That's a solid kill. Eat that. And what's reddit? That. <laughs> That's awesome damage. nice oh we're disarmed what does disarm mean i no longer use skills requiring a weapon is that permanent oh wow disarm is massive can i regain a weapon no apparently it's for a couple of rounds and then you just have to deal with it. Okay. Well, this arm. I need to find out how to deal with that. That's a new feature. They didn't have it beforehand. And yeah, pirates are strong. Level... Six heavy armor, level five pirate armor. Okay, not good enough for you, but most certainly good enough for inappropriate Murphy, who had like nothing. Okay, let's take a look. The merchants look very, very similar to what we have seen before. Okay, that's rum. We have a couple of level 6 items that we can't wear yet. And we have plenty of resin that I don't know what to do with it yet. I wonder, is there a blacksmith of sorts? Maybe the harbor is like a town? And 
we can go in. Yes. It very much looks like My speciality like that. is figureheads. I've just finished one for the guard in the shape of a saurian. I don't mean to brag. One crack in the hull and your ship is done for. Never skimp on upgrades and repairs, mercenaries. Okay. Ammunition. Okay, I think that's for the ballista potentially. Teaches you how to prepare waterproof sealant. Um, that's wooden plank. Okay, I think we can use some of that, uh, those recipes. They are, relatively speaking, cheap. Okay, time to learn those. The waterproof seal, an essential product for sealing whatever needs to be sealed. Okay, cool. Let's learn a little bit about the new items, shall we? They made them accessible so that it is not completely ridiculous. Waterproof sealant. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to continue to learn new weapons because I want to increase the smithing capability. So, what do we have? Bonus! More tailwind, so clearly those sails are good. And we got the triangular sail. Allows for more risky maneuvers. Okay. Flattened hull. When it doesn't completely fill. Provides one additional knot. And rounded hull. Okay, so apparently there are many different ship hulls. I wonder how much that really matters at the end of the day. Maybe it does. Nasty place. It's interesting to see. Good. Apparently there does not seem to be kind of a standard blacksmith of sorts. In the meantime we're just going to rest. And in absence of a blacksmith, at least our tank should be repaired onto... Three, four. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good? Oh, there is a town, Herbast. Okay. Well, no one could, uh, no one, uh, no one could really think that there is kind of a town in the middle of nowhere, right? So that was a bit of a surprise. Herbast, let's go, boys. What do we find? Oh, I love it! New content here for the exploration. Nothing like a bit of grilled fish to chase the seasickness away.
Okay, the standard merchants this time with a little bit more meat uh, that, that we could get. Which is okay, so basic bread is what we definitely can do. All at unbelievable prices. Uh, do we have enough? No, we don't have enough cloth. The best goods in the Balerian arc. Okay, but he does not have cloth either. Our island is the richest and most. It's important that the people feel safe. Our presence alone is enough to discourage pirates. What is it? A poem? Mere be cursed. I know. My laugh is like a sea. Thank you for bringing me this, but I'd appreciate it if you could just forget whatever you may have read. Okay, no problem. I have already done that. These blueprints can be used to upgrade the design of any ship component. Fair enough. Got a bit of more reputation. Let's visit the temple next. The church. I mean the temple. Wait! Your mercy. We need help. There's a plagued rat hiding in the nave. I'll We've got to catch that vermin. Okay. We've got to catch rat catching. I thought we were a little bit more seasoned adventurers, but sometimes you got to go back to the basics, uh, the rat infested cellar. When I'm not doing repairs, mm. I teach our techniques to the younger generations. We got a couple of a cheaper tools, to might as well purchase knowledge. all of them. Once they uh, once they are a little bit cheaper and get some repair as well so now that i want it most the nice to assign me now that we're so nicely talking with each other uh ghost gladius sounds like the type of weapon that i would love to use and would this be a first timer I think so. Or anything larger than a robot you need to hoist to upgrade your ship. Interesting, okay. So if that's the case, might as well create one now. That gives us bonus knowledge points and so on and so forth. Good. In the meantime, whilst we are waiting to get that nice little saber in, how about you're exchanging this for real sword? When I'm not doing repairs, we're selling I that. Our techniques to the younger generations. It would be a real shame to lose our ancestors' knowledge. And I would like to learn a little bit more about blacksmithing. Got the apprentice armor set and soon we're going to go with the helmets as well we have a lot to catch up on with uh, smithing and yeah but we're only an expert blacksmith now we're not even uh, we're not even at the highest level okay next up apothecary I was trained by one of Arkhead's greatest apothecaries. You can trust me. Okay. 
Illidan Remedy. Whenever this unit knocks an enemy back, they have 50% chance to um, apply destabilization section or bad, specifically for our bow. And that is also not bad. Just generating a lot of uh, favor whilst we're being attacked. Yeah, but I want to save the money because we need skill upgrades. Now we're not healing any of you. Last time that I uh, healed our captives, they ran away and all of the medicine was essentially wasted. That's not happening again. Good. Now, is there anything in the tavern? You're looking to join this, but have a look at the list. Oh, wow. Lords of the Sea. Crews defeated. Treasures found, goods stolen. The denizens of Heath. We have. Uh, we are basically the worst of the worst. Okay, and if we get. Uh, those guys were essentially gone up great. I see. Have you heard the rumor? It's only been a few days, so you never know. But just think of the ransom you'd get if you managed to find her. I see your true pirates at heart. I've got a few leads to help you find them. Okay. Oh, this guy is a pugilist. Let's see what they can do. Uh, they can um, get uh, Valor through kills. Whilst being next to someone and whilst being engaged in combat. That's fine. So what are the three options? Wrestler. Doesn't show anything other than this is medium armor, medium armor, light armor. First attack of all battles uh, applies all stance effects. Each round this unit must attack, or at least uh, once in a given stance. If successful, they perform an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, this unit can now char uh, change stance more than once per round. Uh huh. Damage is increased by 10. Switch places with an ally engaged in combat. Gain repost or deflection. Can only be used if the target has greater maximum health. And can reset movement. Can equip a second uh, brawling weapon and swap them during combat. Unit disengages, 50% chance for an attack of opportunity. Okay, it looks like a melee brawler to me, but I'm wondering how they deal so much damage. Nah, 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 so I can don't get too carried away. <sighs> I would really like to have one to test uh, their, them as a new class. I'm pretty sure you'd make a good warrior, but I'm not sure if I am ready to uh, have larger fights. On the other hand, he would be a good addition to the team because he would stand in the front line and essentially with a defensive stance, as far as I'm concerned, he might be an off-tank of sorts. 
and one that deals a lot of damage on top of it. Um, difficult. I really want to get to know that new class. But I don't want bigger fights, that's my problem. I like the small fights, kind of the cl cleanliness. Will 5 break it? Okay. Let's check his traits. Constitution increased. Well, that's not bad. I mean, it's not massive crit chance, but constitution increased. The willpower is a little bit shaky. I tell you what, if we find someone that is better. Might she be looking for work? I'll... Then we'll do it. Eokelt, uh, there seems to be a boss here as well. And. We got a crew. And another crew. Loot bandits there. Alright. I want to see the world before. I suspect that at least nice. a few of my customers are pirates. Souvenirs from Akkad. Reputation increased. Ship speed increased. While at sea, suspicion dissipates faster. Cool. Lovely. They certainly have a lot of equipment and new items. I like that. Okay, I think we're ready to set foot on this island and explore it. There is a blood trail that typically means the ghost pack is not far away. In this case, a huge rat infestation. Question of the day is, do we need uh, to do the rats? Potentially not, but the pristine essences aren't bad either. They would uh, give us a chance to craft a little bit. So might as well go with rats. Good, we have seen plenty of uh, those rat maneuvers, cleansings, but it's the first uh, time with this group. Gotta kill that big thing whilst also killing those plague infested outposts. Big hit. I love it. Good. The Red Mother does not feel very well. And the little Red Offspring doesn't feel great either. Gnome moves up. Uh. 
place to go as close as possible to uh, to those outgrowth and the hopes is that we're actually going to kill them in one go but that is likely not going to happen Can you poison them? Potentially not. Well, apparently you can. Good. They're almost done. Hit Mama Rat. That's a lot of uh, a lot of them. Technical order. We're good in AoE red killing. Like really good. All that I'm seeing is we're not as good in getting all of uh, these uh, outposts down. It'll take us a while. Specifically if the reds are going to come up. The moment that the big mama dies, things are going to be okay. We don't have enough time. Next round we need to kill the big mama. that I'm seeing is we're losing too much health. And even though we're destroying nests, it's nowhere near as much as needed. Yeah, we're almost uh, dead just from the damage. Nice. 
Okay, not the best, but also not the worst. We could potentially could have gotten a, a few more, but we got uh, six pla plague ridden samples out of it. Which we can create uh, pristine essences of once we know the formula for that. Oh, thank the gods you're alive. Thank you for taking care of that. Wait, wait, wait. We got a, a scimitar. Nice. Uh, deals 50% strength damage to all units in the air and knocks them back by one meter. Deals double damage against non-engaged enemies. Okay, scimitars are nasty. And I think we're almost done uh, for today as well. The next time we're going to explore the rest of the island. What? more of the island I should say certainly not the rest of the island bad options but I certainly don't want to get a phobia might I interest you my humble wares my good sirs By the way, I forgot we could cook. I bought a lot of uh, ingredients, so completely forgot that that was happening. 14 bread should be more than enough to keep us healthy. Might I interest you, my humble wares, my good sir? I think we solved the rat problem. I will pray to Saint Elior to protect. Have you come to worship the god of it? No, I've come to collect my without your help reward sure you here. Okay, everybody's like, yeah. Wow, well done. But no one is giving us a reward. Well, thank you. Anyways, I think that's it uh, from me for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you um, enjoy War Tales and Pirates of Beleriand, then leave a comment and a like down below. And see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.